Greetings coders. In this video, we're going to move on to inheritance with abstract classes. Abstract classes are classes that cannot be instantiated. They, there are two ways to become an abstract class. The first is implement a pure virtual method. The second is to not implement a parent's pure virtual method. So if a child doesn't implement the, the parent's pure virtual method, then the child is an abstract class as well. We won't have a concrete class until all of the parents above the child implement all of the, the virtual method. To define a pure virtual method, instead of providing a body in the class, we provide an equals zero. So looking at the example that we added here below, the method speak, we've added an equals zero in pet. Pet has now become an abstract class. So it cannot be directly implemented or directly instantiated. If we did the following and tried to create a local pet, it won't compile now. If the child implements all the pure virtual methods from its parent, then it can become a concrete subclass or concrete child of pet. In this case with dog, we implement speak, overriding its functionality and output bark. Dog can now be created or instantiated either as a local object or on the heap using the new keyword. And so here's an example with main creating this. And what we have is pet, we have the subclass or we have the parent class pet and we create a pointer to pet and then pet equals new dog. So we're creating Alfie on the, on the heap. And then now we are able to use pet and display pet and speak. And we'll have doggy display because we overrode display below and we will have bark. Similarly, if we have the, the same code in main, but we no longer override doggy display. It will now revert back to the display of the parent. And so we would have pet Alfie, pet in the name, and bark. Move on to a slightly more complicated example using a publication model. We have a publication class that has a title and virtual string purchases will return bot when it's executed. And then we have a pure virtual method called print info that must be implemented by all the children. The existence of this pure virtual method makes print info an abstract class. So publication cannot be directly instantiated. Only it's children that implement print info can be instantiated. So now moving on, periodical is a child of publication and implements a virtual method called run subscription, which equals zero. This should tell us something immediately that this cannot be directly instantiated, even disregarding the parent's implementation of a pure virtual method, but now periodical has two pure virtual methods that must be implemented before the child class will become a concrete class. So periodical is an abstract class as well. Next we have newspaper and it's got string city with it implements run subscription overriding it with some code and then we have print info that overrides as well so we have now overridden both run subscription and print info which makes newspaper a concrete class next we have magazine which similar to newspaper implements its own field and then has implemented both pure virtual methods of its parents so magazine is also a concrete class. Last we have book and book is a subclass or a child of publication and it implements a few fields and then implements print info, which is the only 
pure virtual method that must be overridden, which means that book is a concrete class. So the general rules of inheritance, whether we're looking at concrete or abstract classes, the first thing is that we should put common fields and methods as high into the parent that makes the most sense, essentially. So you want it to be as high up so that as many of the children can benefit from that code reuse as possible. However, for unique fields, we want to put them as low as possible where we can maximize the subclasses that might need it. But at the same time, we don't want to have unused unique fields too high up in the hierarchy because it's extra dead weight. And then we want to redefine or override fields and methods in the subclasses as needed. And that's it for this video.